All right. Welcome to, back to another edition. This, of course, is the Bishop of Music. And I'm here to give you yet another uh, lesson tutorial on today. Today I want to talk about, I want to show you a little bit of that, what people refer to as the cathedral, quote unquote, convocation sound. And I'm going to keep it as simple uh, as possible so that I guess many of you can grasp this as possible. The first thing you need to do is understand your drawbar settings. As you've noticed, I've pulled out, I, I usually keep this registration kind of fairly tight because I want it to sound nice and full as opposed to being just shallow. I don't want it to be hollow, but I don't want it to scream. So I'm going to fill in with those subtle sounds. Now some of those sounds are already preset, like here on the A preset. All right, you have those already, all right? All right. So some of them are already preset. Some of them are soft, like the D preset. All right, now, basically, in order to get the sound that you're looking for, I learned this trick many, many years ago, uh, back in the 90s. It first came out, when it came back out in the 90s, um, Melvin Crispell did it on James Hall, God is in Control. When they came out of the, uh, I think it was full, 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 my name is to be. Right. He did a change where he did, um, it was a back and forth between first and fifth. So um, I can't remember where they started in. I think it was in, uh, I think it was here. There it is. All right, there it is. That, that's what it was. It was all right, going back between the root, which in this case is B flat, and then sometimes you can call it the third to the key, the fourth to the key, whatever. Um, The same, is, the same, believe it or not, is true um, with all keys. When you're doing, uh, quote unquote, um, a cathedral sound, you have to learn how to keep stuff moving. Learn how to include hymns within the context of your playing. So if you're playing and somebody's up talking, you want to do a lot of thirds, you want to do a lot of diminished, and you'll, you'll start with starting B flat. You see how I switch? I start right here, then here. And then I go back. All right, now this is what that sounds like. For your expression pedal because if, if a lot of uh, musicians don't know how to properly use the Leslie switch or 
their expression pedals. So the problem that they run into is you're going to be playing at full volume all the time, which gives no expression. You don't want to do changes like that without using the expression pedal, the volume pedal to control and build up. Because the point is, is that as they're talking and you're moving them through, you want to lift up your volume and bring it back down. That was really a backwards walk down. C sharp. Learn to walk the scale in every key. Did you see what I just did? All right. So none of the riffs included. Those were just walks. C sharp, I'm going to go to an E, an E natural, and then back. See that? See how I started pushing the drawbars back in and turn the Leslie off? Whenever you're coming out of a buildup, you want the Leslie to fall so as you're going back down. You want to hear that wah, 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 wah. You want that to be coming back down as you're coming back out of that so you can be there. Now, another key is if you want, if the church is getting ready to go into praise and you know it and you're, you're doing feelings, you want to automatically try to be as far away from the, the key that you, like say, if you're going to be an A flat or B flat when they go into the praise, you want to be away from that key. That way, when you go back to it in a praise, you'll have your draw bars already set to go out. You have your, your vibrato already set to whichever your setting is. That way, when it's time to come back out, you can hit it dramatically. And that's what causes people to be like, wow, what was that? So basically, you're going from here. building up and somebody ought to give God praise you want that dramatic difference because that dramatic change is what is, is what changes atmosphere is going from ba, 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 ba. And I got caught up with that, but anyway, that's just a basic, um, a basic tip. Now, other stuff that you want to learn how to do, like for instance, in the Church of God in Christ, some some churches they do this more often than not, but this is a this is a Church of God in Christ uh, tip right here. All right, you'll find like a hymn like. But what more can he say than to you he has said to you who for refuse to Jesus have fled? Now, 
I'm turning the camera because I want you to see me. My mentor, one of my very close friends and mentors, his name is Joe Wiley. When he was teaching me years and years and years ago, one of the things that he taught me how to do was to play a hymn straight forward. That liturgical sound is birthed out of liturgical music. Understand that. It don't just come out the sky, you just create it. That liturgical sound specifically comes from liturgical music. All right, liturgical music meaning the music of the church like the hymns of the church. So I'm going to show you, learn how to play a hymn straightforward. Watch this. All right. Deuces. <laughs> 